What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to take you through a healthy version of the standard American diet by going high quality, organic, removing all the negatives and chemicals, and focusing more on getting enough animal-based protein as well as vitamins and minerals. So it's like five in the morning. It's too early for me to like go down and start working. So I'm just having a, a meal and hopefully maybe just go back to bed a few hours. That's why I'm kind of out of the norm. I have had pancakes before, but not like a full breakfast like this with the hot dogs and sausages that we just got on Frankie's Syringe Meat. So all the pork is pasture raised, corn and soy free. Uh, the breakfast sausage is made with salt, honey, and maple syrup. And then we have just regular cured pork bacon. And the pancakes are just uh, Birch Bender's organic pancake mix, which is okay. It's, it's really the best and only thing available in the supermarket. Of course, we have the water key for grains to help digest the carbohydrates. And we have some grade A maple syrup, which I like because uh, the grade B stuff doesn't really filter out everything. And that can contain a higher bitterness, which means more anti-nutrients. I've really been waiting to try this pork sausage. And you guys know I'm crazy, so I eat my pork, sometimes rare, medium rare. And the nice thing about all of these sausages and hot dogs and products we have is that they are raw. They're not completely cooked, burned, dried out, well done, like everything else that's available. Sausage is very good. Love the texture. It's so moist. Very clean, mild pork flavor. You don't taste the honey and maple syrup that much, but you can tell it's seasoned. Very good. Now for the bacon. It's just, you know, pork bacon, but it tastes a lot fresher and a bit higher quality. And you know, you're not poisoning yourself because the pigs were happy and healthy. Now, the, the downside to this meal is there's not a lot of fiber. Uh, so I will have an apple after I eat this. And this is what I would call a hyperabsorption meal, which means the gut motility is very low. And there's a decent amount of fat in the pork. And that this food's going to kind of sit in your upper stomach. So if you have H. pylori, liver issues, any of that stuff, you generally want the fiber content of the meal to be higher or for there to be a higher water content food. Pancakes, very dense. Cured meats, very dense. So with the water kefir grains, I have uh, the 8-ounce jar that we have on Frankie's for Range Foods here. I was just like put maybe a tablespoon in my mouth. And then I swallow them down. The grains can be a little big sometimes, but they're kind of soft, so it's not like you're gonna choke on them. And I've said this a lot before on my channel, people demonize carbohydrates, but they need to basically view it as eating protein and B vitamins, because if your gut's healthy, if you have the proper probiotics, like water kefir grains, water kefir, then the sugars, the starches, are going to turn into B vitamins and protein because the bacteria is going to eat it. But if you don't have a healthy gut and you react poorly to carbohydrates, that's where you know you have to fix something. Okay, so I'm gonna have a, a teaspoon of mastic gum about halfway through the meal. So the master comes on organsupplements.com. Uh, I don't think I told you guys the, the sausage and the bacon will be available by like tomorrow on frankiesyrangemeat.com as the pork share. We do have some uh, beef bacon and a lot of beef sausages, but I don't really think those go with breakfast as well as the pork. Now we mentioned the gut motility downside that, you know, if your liver is releasing iron or toxins, they're prone to be reabsorbed in a meal like this. When you have refined white flour, even if it's organic, as well as like sugar and maple syrup, high carbohydrate content uses up certain nutrients in the body, B1, magnesium, vitamin C. So you generally wanna supplement those with a meal like this, and you probably don't wanna have um, like pancakes every meal or every single day for like a long period of time if you're not healthy you'll know based on how you feel after you eat it. When it comes to like cured products, 
I like charcuterie, ham, sausages. I like pork, but like then when it comes to having like a fresh piece of meat thrown on the grill, I'd rather have some beef. I'm really excited to see how you guys uh, like these sausages and these products because I'm either out of touch with reality and haven't had a hot dog in 10 years or um, these are really, really good. So just have an organic Fuji apple. Uh, Whole Foods has been carrying these ones from New Zealand that have been pretty tasty for the most part. Uh, we peel it to remove the anti-nutrients and any potential pesticides that were on it, even though it's organic. I did try whole wheat pancakes once to try to like increase the fiber and stuff, but they just taste horrible. <laughs> like I'd rather not eat them. All right, so I'll see you guys for lunch. Lunchtime, guys, and what's more American than a hot dog and some French fries? Only the highest quality, of course. So we have the organic custom blend hot dogs on Frankie's free range meat, which are only available if you got the beef share. So keep an eye out later this week for those guys. Classic white hot dog buns from Whole Foods. This is the worst thing we're having. Uh, there's a decent amount of additives, small amount of seed oils in here, but Guys, I want to have a hot dog, and I don't know how to make hot dog buns, so I'm not putting the hot dog on a baguette. It's not happening. I have some organic, original sauerkraut. Don't get the flavored stuff like garlic or weird things because these people don't know how to cook. So I'll just get the plain stuff until Frankie Boy makes his own sauerkraut. And we got some organic russet potatoes. Maybe we'll put a little bit of mustard on the hot dog. So we have a French whole grain mustard, and what you look for in this is just water, Mustard seeds and salt should be the only three ingredients, sometimes a little vinegar. So I'm going to prep everything, guys. Nothing crazy. I'm just going to sear the hot dogs in a pan lightly to cook them because these are raw. These aren't like the typical hot dogs you get in the supermarket. You can cook these to the temperature you want. Uh, maybe we'll pop these buns in the toaster. Maybe we won't. Uh, the potatoes, I'm just going to peel them and throw them in the air fryer and then we'll be ready to eat. So I'm sure you guys have seen people cut hot dogs in half to cook them quicker, but we're actually just going to do that to show you guys the a cross section of the inside and what you'll notice is these hot dogs are much redder than a normal hot dog is because there's not chemicals it's not oxidized like it's blitzed for a very long time to form an emulsification these are the healthiest hot dogs that you are going to find anywhere don't exist anywhere else same with this one even though these are, are pretty thoroughly cooked still very red and moist in the middle if you guys are wondering why I wear gloves sometimes, it's silly reason. I don't like washing my hands because then the tan kind of wears off my hands quicker than the rest of my body. So uh, I avoid having to wash my hands if I wear the gloves. So just a light uh, smear of mustard on the, the bread. Mustard is a seed, so it's pretty high in anti-nutrients. You don't want to you know, go crazy slathering a large amount of it on there. But you know, if I'm having a hot dog a few times a month, I don't really worry about not having it on there. One of my favorite things to have on a hot dog is sauerkraut. Um, I gotta strain this out because if you put too much of the sauerkraut juice on there, it kind of overpowers it. But I like a lot of, uh, of the sauerkraut. You know, since we're having water kefir grains and sometimes water kefir with the meals, uh, we don't really have to uh, go crazy with this probiotic, but I used to drink uh, sauerkraut juice before I discovered uh, the water key for the downside of sauerkraut juice is it's very salty. So our french fries just finished in the air fryer. We're just gonna put this over here and let these cool off a little bit. So I just brought up some water keeper for my fridge downstairs. We got the mastic gum powder over here as well. Let's try one of these fries. Eh, could be crispier. I gotta put the air fryer a bit hotter. So this is apple. Probably the cleanest flavor. Now the moment of truth, our hot dog. Honestly, I was having these the other day on their own and I'd almost rather have the hot dog by itself because it's such high quality meat. Like this bun isn't that great and the sauerkraut isn't that good either. So the profile of all my meals is the same. We have a decent amount of very high quality animal protein for amino acids, cholesterol, B vitamins, small amount of the animal-based minerals. We have some starch, soak up the toxins coming out of the liver, feed the gut bacteria, probiotics, make sure the candida stays in check, not too much H. pylori, feel good, feel happy, very high in B vitamins. And then you have a high mineral plant food in this case, which is potatoes, 
potatoes are an excellent source of basically all of the plant-based minerals. We'll have some of our kefir grains. And when you open this, you know, you can hear a hiss sometimes. That's the fermentation building up gas in it. This has got to be the most refreshing summer thing you could drink. Cold apple water kefir. So if you guys didn't know how hot dogs are made, it's uh, you take beef, you grind it up with some spices, and you smoke them. Ours is made the same way, except the beef is grass-fed, the spices are organic, custom blended by me. I excluded the negatives and the chemicals, and um, we lightly smoke them instead of... It's still a lot of smoke flavor, it's just most hot dogs are over-smoked. Oh, I almost forgot to take my mastic gum, half a teaspoon with every meal. Uh, you guys probably see this sometimes. My mother is a double kidney transplant patient, so she has to take a lot of medication. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, the hot dog buns are a little stale. I mean, I'm a spoiled brat because I only eat like fresh baked French baguettes now, so. It's your average grocery store hot dog bun taste. That'd be a little better, actually. Now, normally, when you eat these foods, they're so high in salt and chemicals and negative stuff that you feel like crap after you eat them. But since the salt amount is controlled, we made everything ourselves, and it's all high-quality stuff, there's no reason to feel bad. Guys, I was supposed to have some Russian girl filming and editing my YouTube videos at this point. This is just, this is a lot of work, guys. A lot of work. I think I said this before, but you guys are lucky I'm not a half a foot taller. Otherwise, I'd be too busy with girls knocking on my apartment door to, to do YouTube and stuff. So that's the meal. I probably could have eaten a third hot dog and, and stuffed myself if I wanted to. Uh, but if I keep it really clean, like steak, rice, and mushrooms, usually I'll be hungry after the meal. So I'll have either like cookies or the uh, banana rice crisp bar if I want to keep it clean. Because the rice crisp bar is, is made with like only high quality whole organic ingredients but I think I'm just gonna have an apple uh, and then uh, we'll come back for dinner since I'm doing this I might as well show you guys so what I'll dip my sandwiches in sometimes what I'll saute the mushrooms in or just even drink it on its own is a very concentrated beef broth so in this pot is three jars of the collagen extract from Frankie strange meat very gelatinous very high in amino acids I put a pound of oxtail in here, and we also have uh, about three pounds of chuck roast that we're browning to add some flavor. So this final broth is gonna be so concentrated in B vitamins and amino acids. It's great for healing the gut lining. It's so, so good for you. It's given me a ton of energy uh, ever since I've been incorporating it into my, um, into my diet. So I can't recommend this enough. I'll even blend this into like the mayonnaise you can make mayonnaise with it you could do the bean dip with artichokes and add some of this to it to make it more gelatinous it's it's so so versatile guys yeah so all this just goes in the instant pot uh meat high pressure and sometimes i'll add fish sauce or the frankie steak seasoning but that's just if you want some more flavor all right guys so we're making dinner i have a beautiful porterhouse steak these are actually going to be in the beef share. We have these and some bone and ribeyes as well. Look at that strip and filet. Amazing. It's a little dark outside, but you guys can see my grill is uh, burning a little hot. Better get the steak out there soon. We got the mushroom sautéing. If you guys missed the recipe last Saturday, that's what I'm making right now. So definitely check it out. Balsamic glazed mushrooms. Very delicious. And I ran out of rice. So we're just warming some bread up in the oven that was frozen. We're going to make some garlic bread as our carbohydrate so i got to strain out this uh this broth that we made earlier so i can deglaze these mushrooms we're going to cook the steak outside on the grill and when the bread's done we'll smear some garlic oil on it that we made so let's take our steak this is a little hot so i'm gonna turn the heat off and let the wood do the job all right we're getting there we have our beautifully charred porterhouse smells amazing from that wood fire some crushed organic garlic cloves in the organic oil that's going to go on the garlic bread and then 
our mushrooms are reducing right now with the beef broth. Then we just got to add the wine, reduce that, and glaze them. This is the broth all strained out. After this is in the fridge overnight, it's going to be basically jelly. And our bread is nice and warm and soft, just staying in the oven until we're ready. So a steak is definitely American. Garlic bread, yeah, pretty, pretty typical American stuff. And mushrooms, eh, I guess we could have done a steak and potatoes, but I'm all uh, potatoed out from those french fries earlier. So uh, as you guys can see, I very nicely portioned and cut the porterhouse. I probably ate about half of it while I was cutting it. It was very, very good. The garlic bread, we just threw it back in the oven to toast the top a little bit after we put the garlic and the oil on it. And the mushrooms are all finished. If you guys, again, if you haven't made this recipe and tried it yet, really, really, really delicious. As with the first meals, we have water kefir grains and the mastic gum. I'm just drinking some water with this meal. Normally, I only have two meals. I'm typically skipping breakfast. So omit the breakfast, that's my normal day of eating. Porterhouse has the New York strip as well as the filet mignon tenderloin. The mushrooms are reduced beef broth and wine. Uh, finished with lemon juice and balsamic. It's pretty good for fast garlic bread. You know, just five minutes saute of garlic in the pan, crush it, rub the garlic on the bread with some oil. It's pretty good for the time invested. I've been up since 5 a.m. It's 10 now. It's been way too long of a day. So the standard American version of this is, is pretty sad. You know, you'd have like some sloppy pink conventional feedlot steak, olive garden bread, and some like white button mushrooms that have the texture of uh, chalk or like a sponge squeaking in your mouth. So we're going to have another tablespoon of the water key for grains. And guys, I do notice a big difference if I don't take these. So more so than the water key for itself. The steak's a nice contrast because I have like a rare cooked strip and a medium cooked tenderloin. So it's Change of pace. Uh, so I could probably finish this steak, but I'd rather not stuff myself and also not have to cook my first meal tomorrow. So that's the main reason. So we're gonna have the steak and mushrooms tomorrow, maybe with some rice, maybe with some more bread, but I'm gonna finish up the rest of my garlic baguette and have an apple. Uh, after lunch, I think I said I was gonna have an apple, but I actually had a, a rice crisp bar, which are very, very good by the way, frankiesrangefoods.com. So, Hopefully you guys enjoy this day of eating and, you know, with Frankie's Range Foods and your local high quality grocery stores, whatever, you're able to have a healthy, happy, and delicious day of eating yourself that you enjoy. You can go to frank to to check out all of my businesses. But outside of that, as usual, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. We should have uh, the beef shares available on the website by Friday.